Wait, this guy can't see me, can he? He ain't gonna be needing that. Stole it. Mine now. You don't need it. Okay, we got 85, 74, 94. Let's go... Let's go to this one, so it seems like this one is going to be the closest one. We hit this back alleyway. But he looks like he's in this little building right here. Spacer's Choice ca Cantina Discovered? Open. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Okay. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> he looks That's awful. Abernathy. Uh, take these and Mr. Tubbs didn't send me. And what are you doing here? Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here's my domicile. And there's the door. And you're kind of a jerk. So, you're Martin Abernathy? Or Abernathy? Whatever your name is. I'm here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. He knows what? He knows what? I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave and now he wants to charge me for the other one. What? Um... I'm sure it's all very tragic and heartbreaking. Pay me so I can get out of here. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. All right. But if you could see you your way Auburn, to the for me, I could really use the help. How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I can do it. I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. I just feel like this guy is a, um... He's a drug addict. <laughs> can we go in here? Okay, I can't go any of that stuff. Okay. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Wait, who just said that? Almost lost a finger in the cannery. What did you say? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Why? Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Ooh, got a little bit uh, Got a little bit of freaking some, you got some stuff going on in this thing. Okay, medical five. He's got symptoms of something. You're saying he's uh, psychosomatic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh, he's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Don't you worry about that. Persuade. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape. So I'm reaching out to you. Okay. Abernathy's paying me for my trouble. Can you match his offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. Okay. I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. All right. So now if we get the medicine, we can either give it to him or her. And she's going to pay double. I'm out here, baby. I am out here. Okay. So now we got to go Run over this way. Go and talk to this person over Cha. Question is, is he in this one? Yep, right here. Talk. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Feel like you make me mad. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Okay, relax, Conrad. You just look like a Conrad too. Relax. I'm clean. 
Do your haircuts usually come with free lectures? <laughs> so everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. <laughs> I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. How am I supposed to give it? How am I supposed to tell you I'm, de I'm dead? What does that make any sense? I'm looking to repair my ship. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. Listen here, Conrad. I will, I don't approve I will mess you up. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You... Ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. Shut up, Conrad. I hate this guy already. I've got some questions for Go you. Go ahead. You seem pretty enthusiastic about this place. What do you know about this plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, <laughs> it up. is a shame. What are the symptoms? Why don't you treat all your workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Okay. Sensible policy. We're a sensible people. So let's send me to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Um. Oh my gosh, what do I say? You're very close. You have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. I don't care. Pay up. With what? My own blood? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. Okay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Give him some free haircuts. I don't have any time for this. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. You got it, coach. Okay, so we can probably figure out what he needs to give Silas. But for now, let's go and... Phyllis Granger. Conrad Subdu okay, let's go back let's go this way. Sometimes I wonder what What's I'm in doing. here? Use a workbench. Workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping your combat ready and in tip top shape at all times. On each screen, first select the weapon or armor that you want to work with or work on, then choose what you want to do with it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod or tinker to upgrade it. Okay. I don't really have anything that was a problem. Nothing in the fridge. Open that up. Oh, these are some nice stuff. Bypass shunt. Mind if I do. I don't know what that does. We'll figure it out. What's all this stuff? Nothing. Yep, it had, to have, it had to happen. Use terminal. Edwage, Edgewater Sultuna Cannery. Triple ticket 65565. Five. Turn, turn on engine, try it again. Dang it, Clancy, I just got back to... I don't know, two... Okay, what? Dang it, Clancy, I just got... You back on your feet two weeks ago. Not that you got feet, but you know what I mean. Sounds like the stator's off axis again. We'll clean out and reset. I just got or got caught and all pulled out, like likely in the account of somebody trying to restart him over and again. 
Need to rewind all the coiling in number four. Okay, standard's working, but there's something else off. I have to wait until it's quiet and spin them up for a listen. Black Lives Matter's best. Okay, triple ticket. No, no, no notes in this ticket. Okay, continue on here. What's in this biznatch? Oops. Put that. Put that away. We don't want to. We don't want to get in trouble. Can we actually open this? Criminal activity, trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in these activities without consequences. Did someone see me? Okay, we're good then. Let me have my stuff. Bow. I know what I know what I'm doing. Foul spell pl blocker. That's what the thing said. Okay. Goes outside. Let's go upstairs. A lot of freaking doors in here. Drino taking that for sure. I got twelve of those apparently. I bypass shunt. Use terminal, bypass shunt, cigarette lighter, a logger, open last search, first entry. All right, I don't want to read all this. What's this? Dang it, I don't have any more of those. I need to sell stuff for sure. Heavy ammo, why is heavy ammo in the kitchen? Okay. Take that. I, 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 if you guys can't already tell, I take everything. Because the, the key to these types of games is you just need to take everything and then sell it. That way you get money. Okay. We got one there, one this way, and then we got one other place this way. So let's go ahead and run this way. I don't want to get my gun out. Stop doing that. Problem with this is I don't know where I'm going. Do I need to go up? Doesn't look like I need to go up. I'm going the complete wrong way. I'm an idiot. Yeah, everything is down. Where am I going? The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just. Try using small words for me. Uh -uh. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Hi. I'm sorry. Seems we've got a guest. Hello, Thompson. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Are you Reed? I was told that sh to sh I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. But it's, a, it's okay, an accident, but it's okay. I'm most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Okay. Let's hear it. Frying myself? Let me guess. You want me to do something for you before I help? you'll help me? 
My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. Okay. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Mostly abandoned? What do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Okay. I don't think these people will take kindly to losing their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Okay. Tell me what I need to do. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Okay. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do to help you. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. Kind of cute, I mean, huh? It's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Okay. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Absolutely. Sure, I can use the company. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. All right, let's go, baby. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Let's get going. Leave conversation. All right, companions. You're getting a companion. They're all characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. They're okay. N nothing I don't already know, all right? It's okay. Let's go. Come on. What's your name? Parvati. Okay, kind of a cute name. Pervati. I actually did this on an accident. I didn't even mean to come up here, but I'm glad that we did it. All right. Now we need to see. First of all, let's go hey, into. Mr. Can we talk? Yeah, we could talk. Oh. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, can yes. We chat? Yes. Sorry, I. You just want to get out of here, and you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just. Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Okay. This is about the deserters, so what's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Okay. I can't let anyone for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. How well did you know the deserters? You work with them and you were friends or what? Did you know that Adelaide Reed mentioned? I don't the know second anybody. One. Well, I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. I can't believe anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Did you know there's Adelaide Reed mentioned? Miss McDevitt. Oh. Gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Um... Can't leave it at that. Why are we Reed and Adelaide arguing? I can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. I'm sure the deserters are very fine people, Mr. so what? Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. I get it. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, Max is his, his name. 
Okay. Uh, where would I find him? The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. You got it. All right, I'll think about it. All right, first, like, we gotta we gotta see what our journal has in store. Okay. Because right now we got a lot of stuff we gotta do. Okay, collect Conrad's graveside fees, and then we got Phyllis graveside fees. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do one mission at a time. Alright, let's go to this one. Go to this one over here. I don't really want to leave this place though, so I'm hoping this isn't is this the is the entrance, isn't it? Vale region. I don't want, I don't want that. I I just wanna I need to go down. I need to go up. But how do I get up there? Oh, just like this. Excuse me. Coming up. Phyllis. Ranger. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. I'm guessing you're the foreman of graveside fees. I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that. Go, here, baby. Take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your in your because name. They're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That's kind of you, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Okay. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. You said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Okay. Boom, we got that person's uh, monies. What kinds of food in this over here? All right. I go try to do this other person real quick. Which is this Conrad guy, I'm pretty positive. And then from there, really, it's just... Leaving. Go talking to that guy. Oh, I cut my own hair. But Conrad sells... What can I do for you? Uh... I've got some questions for you. Medical 10, you sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Of course, this is a very pretty specific job description. I'm guessing you were trained at a med. Okay. You may think that, but the tidiness of my fellow worker is my responsibility, alive or otherwise. Okay. Whether you're showing up to work or going to that great cannery in the sky, it's my job to make you look like a million bits. Got some questions Go for ahead. you. Um, being pretty enthusiastic about the job. I need to get your monies, my guy. How do I get your monies? If I were to get monies... Oh my goodness. Wait, this guy can't see me, can he? He ain't gonna be needing that. Stole it mine now you don't need it all right how am i gonna get your money i need your money how do i do it what does my what does my mission say collect conrad's graveside fees conrad, conrad says he can't afford to pay his fees it might be worth mentioning this to silas okay let's go talk to silas and seeing what he says about it um i actually need to go this other way so we go straight to the guy because sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. I don't remember how to get there actually, so I'm not even gonna do that. Alright. 
Silas. Let's go. All right, here is Silas. Uh, Mr. Silas, I'm coming. I need to talk to you. I need to tell you that Connor is a piece of crap yeah, and can't pay you. Me, Cat. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Going on. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. What are you talking about, Silas? Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get, when I can't leave the house. Gotcha. I'm sorry, Pravati. Oh. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Something I can do for you? Of course. Um, I'm here to watch you the fees you wanted. You run into any trouble? Not really, actually. Uh, Conrad says he can't afford to pay you. Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners. Skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Ooh, I did already. Are you suggesting extortion? That's the word extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. I'll take a look, leave conversation. My gosh. Alright, we go back inside. All right, we gotta go talk to this barbershop guy, Conrad. See what he's got in the back room. So. This thing right here, examine Conrad. Reception shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call it for it. What it is. Destruction of Spader's choice property. Eugene has, was an asset and somebody has to pay it his body prize. This is gonna ruin us. So I was thinking about are thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Hair looms passed down his family or something. But you're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We'll see the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. Use the bits to pay his body price. Nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Phyllis G. Boom. I didn't see that last time I came here. I feel like I would have saw that. I didn't. All right, cool. Get the fuck out of here. Oh wait, no, 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 I'm gonna talk to him. What can I do for you? I know about Eugene. Why not, why not use his teeth as clutter for your side fees? You know about Eugene? How? Cause there's a freaking note in there, stupid. You let him lying around. I don't know from ben, Phyllis. You know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? I want to see what he couldn't. Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious, ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Uh, are you sure about this? Ask for guidance from the vicar lately. Later. 
Uh, I don't care. I'm just here to collect your dues. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Boom. All right. I'm told that you can kill himself. Well, I don't care. Boom. Now we can go and talk to Silas. Turn this quest in and get them XP points. All right, Mr. Silas. Fancy threads. That some kind of hibernation suit? Absolutely. Um. Yeah, about the you fees you wanted. Trouble? I'm I'm all done. Hyperic fees and signatures. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, I went out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. I don't want a drink. Something more tangible. Uh -huh. Suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Let's go, baby. Abernathy was trying to hide his own illness. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. He was convinced you knew. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him report it. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? I get it. Hey, let me ask you something else. Leave conversation. Boom. Go, baby. Level three. All right, we're going to do ranged again. Stealth. Tech. Tech. Stealth. Dialogue. Ranged. A little bit of defense and we're done on leadership get that up as well we're gonna go back into ranged apply all right guys this is where we're gonna end the second episode of the outer world gameplay if you guys enjoyed it make sure you do the youtube thing like comment subscribe share with your friends and as always guys my name is johnny and i'll see you in the next video